Hello everyone, welcome to Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services. It's a video on daily news and tutorial analysis, which I'll be covering from the Hindu and Indian Express. The most important news and editorial of the day that are relevant for the preparation of civil services examination will be discussed in this session. Let's get started with the news topic list. Today is 20th of January. The first important news that is women officers in the command soon. Second, NECS to trade nano fertilizers and dairy product. Third, hybrid COVID immunity offer more cover than the infection. Fourth, that is UAE India discuss upon the non oil trade. Basically, this is with regards to the payment that will be made in Indian rupees. And the last is an editorial judging a decay of POSCO Act. Apart from the news and editorial discussion, at the end of this video, there will be MCQ based questions. These questions will be based on current affairs that will help you for the upcoming prelims examination. So without any further delay, let's get started. And before I begin this session, those of you who are new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe. Apti Plus can be for civil services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful, do not forget to press a like button. Starting this session, the first news that is women officers in command soon. Something important for general studies paper one. That is under the subtopic role of women, women organization, population, associated issues, poverty and the development issue. This particular news is also important for general studies paper 2 where the government policies and intervention are concerned. So Indian Army is conducting women officers special selection board for the promotions from the rank of Lieutenant Colonel to Colonel to bring them a par with the male counterpart as the Indian Army officer were informed, right? So after the Supreme Court intervention, the government has finally decided, the army has decided that the rank of Lieutenant Colonel will be upgraded to Colonel. A total of 244 of them has been considered for the army with the promotion rank for the Lieutenant Colonel to Colonel against 108 vacancy for the first set posting that is expected by January and this year. The army has begun the process for the selection of women officers by command posting in the rank of Colonel which has so far been the dominance of the male officers only. So basically before prior to the decision that is taken by the government only the male officers were allowed to go for the colonel rank. Now the promotion of women officers, according to the sources, the special number three selection board that is being conducting for the promotions of women officers for the rank of lieutenant colonel to colonel. And this is with directive to the Supreme Court judgment, which 2021 mein Supreme Court ne uphold kiya tha, that the judgment granting a permanent commissions and command posting to women in all arm and services to combat. Now, at the accumulations, the selection board said that 108 women officers who are declared to be put under the consideration to be posed in various command and adjustment. A total of 60 affected women officers have been called as observed for the selection board and ensure fair conduct and clarification about their apprehension. So, now, there's a judicial intervention by the Honorable Supreme Court following the intervention by the Supreme Court. The army has granted permanent commissions to the women officers on par with their male counterpart. All women officers granted the permanent commissions are undergoing a special training courses and challenging the military assignment to empower them with a high leadership role in the army. So this is a classical example when it comes to the ceiling where it was a notion that women cannot be the part of the combat forces. Now it is there and even it is a part of the basically equalization of the male and female in the military. Now the permanent commissions of the women officers in the junior batch has also been commenced and they are considered for the permanent commissions for the 10th year of the service. Defense services staff courses ki baat ki gai hai. For the first time, five women officers have been declared in the defense services staff courses and the defense services technical staff courses examination, which has led annual in September. Now, five women officers has undergone one year course that has been adequate for the vintage and even considered for the command appointment. This is what the sources have said. Recently, the army chief has said that last week, the army would soon induct the officers in corps of artillery as well. 
Now, moving to the other news, National Export Cooperative Society to trade into the nano fertilizers and dairy products, something important for Jenner Studies paper too. That is the government policies and intervention for the development of various sectors and issues arising from a design and implementations. Now, the first ever National Export Cooperative Society has recently approved the union cabinet and they have allowed the nano particle produced by the IFCO that, and the dairy product that is produced by the Amul will be the first free product that is expected to be exported under the supervision of the National Export Cooperative Society. The Centre New Multi-State Cooperative Society for Exporting Products of the Cooperative will have an authorization share of 2000 crore with an initial paid up capital of 500 crore contributing of five such organizations. Now the promotions of the society ki baat ki gai, how the promoters of the society will function. So five important society include the Indian Fertilizer Fed Corporations Limited that is called IFCO, Kishan Bharti Cooperative Limited, National Agriculture Cooperative Market Federation, NAFED, Gujarat Milk Marketing Federations, better known as AMUL, and the National Cooperative Development Corporation, that is NCDC. So all the promoter will contribute around 100 crore rupees each. Though AMUL and IFCO currently export their product in country like Brazil, Philippines, Kenya, and Canada as well. Now advantages ki agar baat kare is ke decision ki, the proposed National Export Cooperative Society is expected to enhance the scale and volume of the export. And the society will, uh, this society will actually benefit from small farmers and nasty who are actually uh, does not get an access to right platform. So this will be acting as a platform where the product can be overseas sold as well. The society will get access to international market and good return. And once the product has been tested for international standard, the packaging and export will be done by the society itself. Think globally to act locally. This is what the government has said. And even if the notion is behind, behind the rational is this only. As per the government data, 88.5 lakh registered cooperative are more than 29 crore members. So total 8.54 lakh jitni bhi registered cooperative societies hain, unke 29 crore members hain. This cooperative need to think globally and act locally to leverage their cooperative advantage in all economy area. The focus is on exporting the surplus available in the country in the cooperative sector and the proposed society will hire consultation in the foreign countries who will expand the footprint across the continent. Now the society will be different from the export promotional council under the Ministry of Commerce. There is a, a specific nodal body that look for the export promotion in the country known as EPC that is export promotion council. Usse and it will act as a facilitator. It uh, basically EPC only act as a facilitator and provide information about the potential market that can be tapped for a particular product. Now the society will provide end-to-end -end services for the cooperative from packaging, from details, from all other sort of stuff and assistance will be there by the society. Now it will open a foreign bank account to complete the formalities including the necessary permission for export of the product. The dividends will be shared with the manufacturer instantly and without any brokerage free. Now the third news that is hybrid COVID immunity offers more cover than the infection, something important for gender studies paper too under the subtopic issues related to development and management of health. Now according to the latest meta-analysis published in the Lancet infection disease it said and it found that the hub hybrid immunity from the previous infection coupled with vaccinations offer a higher magnitude and durability of the protections against severe COVID-19 and infection. So, these people who hybrid immunity developed hui hai, and even they have got the infection and after they have got vaccination, they individual are functioning uh, on a higher immunity compared to any other who has got direct, basically the part of the vaccination done. Now, finding of the study, the study noted that the hybrid immunity can also help in extending the period of the booster dose indeed. And even especially the context of Omicron variant, which has a higher number of breakthrough infection. It says that all immunity from infection vaccinations coupled with infection has waned again the reinfection within a month. And the studies has also said that the hybrid immunity coupled with the primary vaccination dose was effective in preventing severe disease and hospitalization in 94 97.4% of the cases. So this is the rate, the success rate that has 
been witnessed in this study by the Lancet. Now the study is based on the analysis on the 11 studies that is protecting for the previous SARS-CoV-2 virus infections and the 15 studies that is protective effective on the hybrid immunity. The result provide information that can be used for tailored guidance among the timing of the SARS-CoV vaccinations. Effective only on the hybrid immunity, what is the effectiveness of this part? So effectiveness of the hybrid immunity against the reinfection stood at 41.8% in 12 months. This is what the report has found and even the effectiveness of only previous infections against the severe disease, hospital administration and 74.6% in 12 months. Now after 12 months, the study says that the protections against the reinfection from all form of immunity dipped to 24.7%. Now what was the recommendations that was given by the study that was conducted by the Lancet? So it recommended that the study that boosters drive whenever uh, there is an increase in the infection, jahan bhi kisi country ya state mein infection report ki jati, to vaccinations ko badhani ki zarurat hai, wider vaccination among the population could be timely roll out before the period expected to increase the incidence, especially in the winter. And it noted that the six month delay in the booster dose might be justified. Individual will know their history on the previous infection and full primary vaccination is required. So in India, the government of India has started third vaccination known as booster dose. Those of you who have not get that, do check it out that you are getting that. And that is essentially required amid the concern that is coming out of from China. Now, moving to the other news, UAE India discussed rupee non-oil trade, something important for general studies paper 2, that is bilateral regional grouping and agreement involving India and affecting India's interest. According to the UAE Ministry of Foreign Trade, the United Arab Emirates is early in a discussion with India to trade non-oil commodities in Indian rupee. So apart from dollar, India is looking forward with the domestic currency of INR to proceed with the purchase. The UAE has signed wide range of free trade agreement last year, which is along with China and is among the biggest trade partner of the Gulf India and the gas productions, most of whose currencies are pegged at US dollar. UA trade deal ke agar baat kare India ke saath, UA trade deal with India aims to increase the bilateral non-oil trade that is for the next five years. The large majority of Gulf trade is conducted in US dollar. And basically, agar baat kare kuch important countries ki like India and China, they have been pitching to pay the amount in the local currency. Reason include lowering transition cost as well. Now, demand for domestic currency, not only India, China is also advocating the same. The largest majority share of the Gulf trade is conducted in the US dollars, but the countries such as India and China are seeking the local currencies, which can also lower the transition cost. And it said that the trade relations will increase looking at Asia, while at primary security investment lies with the West, where Gulf states have a long strategic partnership with the United States. Now, moving to the editorial of the day, judging a decay of POSCO Act, something important for general studies paper 2, under the subtopic welfare schemes for the vulnerable section of the population by the center and the state government. So under this editorial, first the theme is about the POSCO Act. We look into the non-reporting of the male POSCO cases. No change in the investigations, investigation unit on crime against women, some challenges, issues of age determinations, period of investigations and the way forward. So 10 years down the line when the protection of the girl from sexual offenses that is known as POXO Act was enacted and consequently to that the ratification was done by India to the United Nations Convention on Child Rights in 1992. So this law come into effect in November 2012. Now, the aim of this law was to address the offenses of sexual exploitations and sexual abuse in children, which has not either defined or inadequate were penalized. So, there were a lot of laws that were so stringent, which was why the POCSO Act was passed and it has strengthened the entire process. Now, amid the debate over the poor conviction rate under the POCSO cases, or in the recent debate, hui hai that the consent of the age should be from 18 to 16, but Actually, government has not allowed it. This is something that has to be lot debated and the parliament has to pass a law in this regard, which at this instances is not looking forward. 
ना नॉन रिपोर्टिंग ऑफ मेल पॉस्को केसेस अगर बात की गई अगर पॉक्सो केसेस की बात करें तो ये जेंडर न्यूट्रल लॉ बनाई गई थी जहाँ पे किसी जेंडर को ध्यान में नहीं रखी और ओनली एज ग्रुप वॉज अ कंसिडरेशन बट इवन नेशनल क्राइम रिकॉर्ड ब्यूरो ने ये रिपोर्ट किया कि मेल और फीमेल के डेटा सेपरेटली रिलीज होने चाहिए विच वॉज नॉट पब्लिश राइट सो दिस इज अगेन अ कंसर्न छत्तीसगढ़ की अगर बात करें मेल विक्टिम अकाउंटेड फॉर अबाउट एट इन एवरी थाउजेंड इन द पॉक्सो केसेज दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट एट परसेंट ऑल दो द केसेज आर रिपोर्टेड बट नॉट रजिस्टर्ड दो द नंबर ऑफ बिग स्टिल सोसाइटी के पास ही अप्रीहेंशन है कि जो सेक्सुअल एक्सप्लाइटेशन है मेल चिल्ड्रेन में उसे भी एक सीरियस ऑफेंस की तरह देखा जाए सेकेंडली द सफिशियंट जनरल अवेयरनेस टू रिपोर्ट द सेक्सुअल एक्सप्लाइटेशन नीड टू बी देर फ्रॉम इंडिविजुअल बाई एन इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ नॉन रिपोर्टिंग ऑफ द केसेज विच इज अ ऑफेंस अंडर द पॉक्सो एक्ट and the storage of uh, the child pornography material has been made with a new offence under the pocso act that was uh, envisaged in 2012 itself now no change in the investigation as a part of the large investigation and offence under the act it is guided by the criminal code for the procedure known as crpc investigations ki agar baat kare even if there is a penetration of sexual assault और जनरल इवॉल्विंग ऑफ स्टैटमेंट्स इज देयर तो प्रोपेट्रिक्स की अगर बात करें मेडिकल एंड फॉरेंसिक साइंस लेबोरेटरी में एग्जामिनेशन की जाती है एंड इवन द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द चाइल्ड इज टेक इन केयर अंडर द एक्ट रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट इज आल्सो प्रोविजन बाय अ वुमेन सब इंस्पेक्टर बट अगर बात करें वुमेन वर्क की पुलिस में जो कि काफ़ी कम है विच मेक इट मोर प्रैक्टिकली ये इम्पॉसिबल हो जाती है कि ये सारी चीज़ों की इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एट द फुलस्ट हो पाए investigation under a crime against women so in 2015 the ministry of home affairs had introduced a scheme to create an investigation unit for crime against women which aims to have 15 police officers at one third of comprising women officers and additional superintendent of police in each district now it was aimed to ensure quality investigations of the crime against women of the 50 50 ensuring the sharing basis but this has not been achieved yet but the response from the state of the scheme was half hearted the reason being it has not achieved its full potential now challenges ki agar baat kare there is a provisions to record the statement using audio video means jahan pe supreme court ki ek judgment hai safai mohammed versus state of himachal pradesh jahan pe ye baat kahi gayi hai ki capturing and preservation of the scene of the crime in the heinous offenses is a must and a pilot project has yet to be implemented across the state and another provision mandate that the recording in the statement of the procuratrix is by the judicial magistrate and such statement are recorded in most cases and judicial magistrate are neither called for cross examination and non called for trial to react their statement as punished and the other issue highlighting is the determination of age although the age determination of juvenile delinquent is guided by the juvenile justice act and no such provision exists under the pocso act of the juvenile victim so this is again a concern and supreme court in the jernail singh versus the state of haryana has held that giving statutory provisions should be on the basis to help determine age when a child who is a victim of a crime however in the absence of any change of the law even specific directions investigation officers continue to rely on the date as well as birth recorded in the school admissions and if the minor is proved as a measure bahut zyada probability ye hoti hai ki acquittal ke chances badhte hain and even the consent or no injury of the private path can be reported now the period for investigation or the period of investigation which take a longer further the time mandated to complete an investigation of rape is 2 months right although it is aimed to be expedited in part of the investigations and even two significant changes are there in this field first that uh, there is a pressure on the iu to report and submit the charge set within 2 month of the investigations and even uh, like iu do not want an internal punishment of the ministry of home affairs in the pocso cases with the crime and criminal tracking system and state police headquarters as well now the second if the charge sheet were not put in 90 days the arrest of the accused or his see can be granted a bail and now when the charge sheet is put with 16 days of fir the accused can seek bail immediately after the filing of the charge sheet thus if the accused is not a victim who gets the benefit of completing the investigation in the shorter period of time now we forward ki agar baat kare is context mein even for the pocso cases 
which like provide for the court shall presume that accused has committed the offence under the circumstances it is expected that increase in the conviction rate is unlikely to be achieved therefore it's time that the review of the way for the poxo cases is implemented and as to how far the victim of sexual exploitations and what more need to be done to ensure the justice has to be done from the state government the civil society and the central government so all three coordination is essentially required to achieve the desired result in the society now moving ahead with the mcq questions of the day before i proceed just to tell you the answers of your study questions the first question the correct option is c for second question also the correct option is c today's mcq for practice the first is that technology and innovation report is released by united nation conference on trade and development economist intelligence unit world economic forum global entrepreneurship and development institute the second question for the day the food waste report is released by undp international food research institute walk free foundations new economic foundation so do check it out for the correct option all this uh, practicing question will help you to get an edge over the upcoming prelims examination This was all about for the daily news and editorial analysis followed by the MCQ questions. If you have any other concern, you can let me know. I'll be more than happy to assist you. For time being, I'm signing off. Thank you so much for watching this video.